Hi guys, how you doing? It's Jamie and I'm back again for week four of the Lockdown Lesson series. Uh, this week we're going to do something totally different. We're going to do a song breakdown. Uh, the song we're going to do is going to be Royal Blood, Figure It Out. And the plan is we're going to go through all aspects of the song and then at the end of the video we'll have a video of all the teachers of the Lockdown series playing, playing the song. Alright? Cool. So, without further ado, let's start with the top of the song. So, the song starts off with solo guitar. It's just a guitar intro. And then it's joined by vocals for the first verse. There's still no drums. We are still chilling in the background. The only one thing that happens is there's a bell on the R4 halfway through the verse, right? So it's... Okay, so when do we join in? We're going to basically join in for the second half of the first verse. And we're going to start with a flam. And a flam, just to quickly remind you, is two hands coming down, one just slightly before the other. Okay, and that's going to be on beat four of the bar. One, two, three. Okay, excellent, good. So... Then we're going to come in with our beat and the good news is the beat for this verse is super simple it's just your everyday standard rock beat with the bass drums on beat one and three and the left hand on beat two and four okay so that's our main beat for this first verse the only other thing to look out for in the first verse is there's a couple of pushed crash cymbals. And by pushed, what I mean is, instead of coming down on beat one, like they normally would, we're going to put them just before the end of the previous bar. So they're going to land on the A ah of four. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and A ah in there. Okay? So just to practice that, what we could do is put that at the end of a four bar loop of our verse rock groove. Just like this. Okay, so let's move on to the next section. The next section is a quick wee interlude between the first verse and the first chorus. And again, our part's really simple. It's going to start with a flam on the snare drum on beat four. One, two, three. And then we've got crash cymbal on beat one. So that's going to go. One, two, three, four. One. Okay. And then really simply, all we have is quarter notes on the open hi-hat for four bars. For four bars. Let's see that whole thing together. Now, before we move on, we have a fill-in coming from here into this first chorus. And it's pretty simple. It's just... Yeah? So we have... 3 E and A, 4 E and A. Let's try that on the end of the part that we've just learned. So that's a fill in. Then we're into this chorus. So the chorus we're going to be on the right symbol and we're going to play the bell on the beat. In other words, we're going to play. Okay. 
And that's going to carry the whole way through this chorus, okay? And the main beat is basically this, right? We've got bass drum on beat one, snare on beat two, bass drum on three A, and then snare drum on beat four. That's going to sound like this. Okay, so before we leave this chorus, we've got a couple more left hands that we need to chuck into this groove to get it exactly like the song. First thing that's going to happen is on the end of two, you're going to have a drag or a wee double or one of these kind of guys. It's going to sound like this. Okay. And then the very last element of the groove is another left hand on the E of three. That makes sense? Excellent. So that's the main groove for the chorus. Let's have a wee listen to it all together. Okay, so sticking with this chorus, we've got a couple of hits on the crash cymbals that we have to get in. Have a listen to this. Okay, and the figure's really simple. All it is is... Yeah. A three and four and five. Yeah. A three and four and five. Yeah. And again, I would put this into a four bar loop if you're struggling with it. And just loop it round until that feels comfortable. That would sound like this. Okay, so let's check out a set of hits that's going to happen at the end of this first chorus. It's going to start with three hits on the snare and a crash. Okay. And then you're going to have snare, crash, snare, crash, snare, crash, snare, crash. Four times we're going to do that snare, crash. Okay. And then we have three crash symbols in a row. Simple as that. This is the whole thing together. Okay. In context with the groove, it's going to sound like this. Alright. And again... I'm like a broken record, I know I should get some new chat for next week, but play it slowly, break it down to that little chunk, get comfortable with it, speed it up, and then worry about putting it in context with the music. Excellent. Next up, we've got a four bar interlude going from the chorus into the next verse. This is just going to be a basic rock beat with open hi-hats, and we've got another one of these pushed crash cymbals. The other thing to check out with this is instead of the crash cymbal being accompanied with a bass drum, it's going to be a snare drum this time, and it's still on the R of four as it was before. It's going to sound a wee bit like this. All right, and like I did there, if you're struggling with it or you're not totally comfortable with it, just loop that round and get comfortable with the placement of that crash symbol, and then we can worry about the song later. Alright, cool. So, this four bars finishes off with a fill-in. 
Phil's going to go something like this. We're going to have three notes on the snare. The first of which is going to be another flam. Rack tom. Three on the floor tom. And then another flam. The whole thing together is going to sound like this. Okay, so we're in this second verse now. And we're back to a normal basic rock beat with closed hi-hats. But there's a couple of things chucked into the second verse that's different to what we played in the first verse. Here's the first one, nice and slow. So we have these two open hi-hats with bass drums. And they're going to fall on the E and the A of four. Okay, and like always, let's make a four bar loop and have that on the end of the four bars. Take it slow and build it up, get comfortable with it. So we've got one more element in this second verse to check out before we can move on. It's going to start off with three on the snare. We're going to land on four, E, and. And then we've got another one of our pushed crash cymbals that's going to happen on the A of four. Okay. And then we're back to a rock beat. At this time, our hi-hats are going to be open. Okay, and then our bass drum is going to change ever so slightly. Instead of just being one, we're going to have one and two bass drums. Okay. Alrighty, then we've got a wee fill, and the fill is just going to go. Okay. So we're going to have two hi-hats, four on the snare drum, two hi-hats, snare, rack, floor, crash. Alright, and then we're just back to our beat. Yeah, and then just to finish off that verse, we've got the same fill in that we used and the first verse going into the chorus. Made it to the second chorus. And the great news here is the second chorus is exactly the same as the first chorus. So you just do exactly what you did the first time, do it again in the place of the second chorus, and you're golden. Alright? Cool. Now we've got a middle eight. Middle eight, we're back to our hi hat rock beat. But we've got one extra bass drum. And it's going to fall on the A of two. Okay. Excellent. Alright. So we're in the middle eight. And we're back to our hi-hat rock beat groove. However, we're going to add in one more bass drum on the A of two. And that's going to sound a little something like this. Yeah? Okay. Now, you've guessed it. We've got more pushes on the crash cymbal. And the groove that's going to accompany these is this. Alright. Hi-hats are going to be open for these grooves. So that's what it sounds like with the pushed crash cymbal. Again, same spot, the A of the four. Alright? 
Flam, flam, flam. One, two, three. Rest on beat four. That's our fill going into the outro section. Nice and simple. All right. Now, the outro section. This bit's really cool. The outro section goes double time. And what I mean by that is, it's going to feel like it's sped up. It's going to feel like it's got double as fast. Double time. Now, instead of a rock beat being... We're now going to be... Okay? The bass drum pattern, however, is going to be this. Okay, even slower than that. Okay. Here comes the best bit of the song for the drums. We've got some more hits and we've got a really cool fill in the middle of them all. Here's what it's going to sound like. All right, let me slow that down. So you've got two crashes. We've got snare, rack, floor. Two crashes, rack, floor, floor. Two crashes. Now this fill is based on triplets. One and a two and a three and a four is the rhythm of the fill. And the sticking for the fill is going to be right, left, foot, right, left, foot, right, left, foot, right, left, foot. That's going to be your triplet pattern. Yeah? Okay, and the hands are going to be orchestrated with two on the snare, floor rack, same again, and then a flam on the snare. That whole thing together. So we've just played our monster fill and we're straight back in to this double time groove, same as before, okay? Now, then we've got the very end of the song. Very end of the song is the same hits as we just played, but the fills in between are slightly different. They're going to sound like this. All on the snare. Okay? Alright guys, this has made it to the end of the song, so I hope if you follow through the video slowly and get all the individual elements sorted, you'll be able to compile it and you'll be able to play this song, no problem. Alright, here's a wee video of me playing along with the song to hopefully help you out with it. Cheers guys, see you next time, bye. Nothing better to do when I'm stuck on you And I'm still here trying to figure it out